the, they're overflowing and we've got to flush this down the Murray River. How are we going to do that without everyone wondering what we're doing? Oh, we'll just get some BS scientists to say we need to flush it down the Murray River to open up the mouth of the Murray River in South Australia, don't we? But oops, we've got a problem. How are you going to do that without environmental damage? How are you going to flush gigalitres of water down the Murray River without eroding the banks, without destroying the habitat of the platypus and the kingfisher? And like plugging up the holes of the Murray Cop, which are diminishing as we speak. How do you do that? Oh, we'll just take another $1.8 billion to manage the constraints of the river, which cannot handle all this water. What will we do? We'll raise the railway bridges. We'll build up the levee banks. Hello? <laughs> so how do they get this water off the farmers? The government and the banks colluded in 2007. They created the Water Act. The banks stood on the, he on the heads of the farmers and said in the middle and beginning of the biggest drought, longest drought in the history of Australia, it's called the Millennial Drought. They had a, held a gun to the farmer's head and they say, you either sell your farm or you sell us your water. We're going to buy your water and give it. Penny Wong is going to buy your water. How that woman... How that woman sleeps at night, I don't know. Trader! Trader! And all the promises they made to the farmer, they said, you sell your permanent water and you can then continue to farm by buying temporary water, which we, the traders, own, and you will be fine. And all the numbers they gave them were lies. Oh, you'll buy your water at $100 a megalitre. Bullshit. They're paying $5,000 a megalitre and they cannot sustain their farms. Farm Farmers are suiciding so that their families can cash in on insurance and save their, from themselves from bankruptcy. That's what farmers are doing. And this trader, these traders, people like Helen Dalton, bless her, have been calling for a, a, a trade, a water traders registry, so we can know who the politicians are that own this water. Crickets, crickets. Another thing they did: one billion dollars. Also, at the heart of the drought, the Brumby and Brax government decide we are we've got water restrictions. You know about it. We've got water restrictions in Melbourne. We need more water to wash our cars and flush our concrete driveways. So we're going to take it off the farmers and build a pipeline and have a modernisation uh, plan that costs $1 billion. And so they plan to take 75 gigalitres a year from our farmers. And oh, but we're going to have to tell everyone that we're going to save water. So what are we going to do? We're going to line the channels with plastic to save a few teaspoons of water. And so what happens now? 2,000 kilometres of our channels are now lined with black plastic. What happens to the animals when they try and drink that water? They slip and they drown. That's what they're doing to our environment. You ask a maintenance worker on those channels and they will tell you they pull out 50 wild animals a week. That is what they're doing to our environment. And then that wasn't enough. Oh, we'll pipe the water. We'll put it underground in pipe. And now the animals have no water. So... In a few strokes of the pen, our government has, have been, has successfully destroyed our environment and destroyed our food growing capacity. This is, this is what we are 
seeing now is one of the biggest land grabs in the history of Australia. And we all know what the first land grab was. And all of this so that our farms can go into the hands of big corporates. Because a government, a local government, a state government would rather deal with five big corporate farmers in their electorate that are giving them kickbacks and bribes than a hundred little family farmers, wouldn't they? So now what's happening, our freedom, uh, many of our Freedom Party candidates are coming to us and we're helping them with developing policy and getting the word out about what's really happening. So this is all what is leading to our food shortages. Now I've only spoken about one tactic, water, and I've spoken about one industry dairy. Wade will be talking about what are they doing by and how they're using BS climate change for, uh, regulation and policy and BS biosecurity as well. And one more tactic, I'm sure a lot of you don't know is happening, the way they're forcing small family farms off the land, and this is happening around Romsey and Lansfield as we speak. They're bringing in rezoning laws in favour of the developers and they're walking onto people's land and their farms and they're saying, off, get off. We the developers now own your land. So that is going to be our next fight. So with that, I'm going to hand over to Wade to give you the rest of the story. Thank you.